So what I've learned to do is first thing that I'll go to when my body isn't feeling the way that I want it to feel is, is before I go to anything that I'm doing actually like movement or exercise wise, I'll simply ask, what do I want to do? Am I aware of what I'm doing? Am I aware that I'm making the choice that I want to make with what it is that I'm doing? Or does it feel like I have to or I'm being forced to do this thing? Because just like for myself personally, when it feels like I'm being forced or having to do something that I'm not saying like, this is what I want to do, my body literally will feel heavier, right? And to, to make this like more real or more practical, if you go, if you take something that you absolutely do not like to do, that you do not want to do, like let's say it's getting in front of a group of 100,000 people and you talking about a topic which you know nothing about and you have to fill the space of 60 minutes with zero preparation. If you put yourself in that situation, in that situation or scenario and, and, and you don't try to manipulate at all, you're just like, I don't, I literally do not want to do that. Your body will feel different than if you take and compare that to something that you actually literally do want to choose to do, right? And so when it comes to how my body actually physically feels, it's as much in it not feeling heavy and slow and just like weighed down. It's as much about me again remembering that I have the ability to choose what it is that I want to do and I can choose and want to do things that are difficult or choose or want to do th exactly what it is that I'm doing and actually like literally feel that and then my body will literally get physically lighter and then I can start to look at and address other things but it starts with that differentiation between like I am choosing to want to do this, like literally really do want to do this versus this is something I have to and it feels like I'm being forced to do it.